previously on Expat Nat. I spent two weeks in a government quarantine hotel in Shanghai, China, and I ate so many different foods. In this episode, I'm moving hotels and eating more than I bargained for. Hello. So it's day fourteen, my last full day,、um, and dinner time. So meal forty one, I think.、Um, my last like proper meal because I have breakfast tomorrow. But、um, I just opened it up and found a lovely hair inside. So probably won't be eating it. I think this morning、um, some people in the hotel found bugs in their food. So like, just get me out of here.、Ew. Hello.、Um, I thought I'd give a little update、um, to explain what's happening quarantine-wise. So today's day fifteen in this hotel since arriving in China,、um, and in a few hours I'll get picked up and I'll go to another hotel for. It's called like plus seven. It's like community quarantine, so it's not strict. I can leave my room, but I'm not allowed in like public areas, public transport. I can't go to school or work, things like that. Um, and I think there's a curfew of ten o'clock,、um, where I have to be back in the hotel and you have to like sign in and out. But I'm not really sure, and I won't know until I get there. So I'll keep you updated.、Um, and yeah, I'm just very excited to be getting out of here and hopefully having something like a pizza later today because I am sick of rice. <laughs> I'm so excited.、Um, today is the day that I finally get to see Mew. After three hundred and thirty-two days,、um, I can't believe it. I feel like it's Christmas. I'm so excited. It was so nice to feel the fresh air on my face after two weeks in a hotel. As we waited for our taxi to pick us up and move us to the next hotel. The drive in the taxi was around 45 minutes to go from Hongqiao area to Pudong District, the other side of the city, where our plus seven hotel was. So I just arrived in my new room.、Um, so this is the plus seven hotel. So I've got it's very spacious, a big desk,、um, an exposed wardrobe, a small bed, a big bed, a window that doesn't seem to be working. Finally, a full-length mirror. Oh, and a shower. It's very much like、um, like a cruise ship type thing, but not bad. In the evening, I got a taxi to Mu's apartment on the other side of the city to spend some time with him. But first, we had to stop off at the post room to collect all my parcels. Can we get a bin? Yeah. So we got skewers. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. We have corn, a cauliflower. What's this one? Rice cake. Rice cake. Mmm. Sausage. Actually, that sausage looks very nice. And these are lamb.、Mm -hmm. mm. Lamb and pork. Lamb and pork. Yum. So this is the first breakfast at the new hotel, and it came in like a takeaway bag type thing. So we've got two croissants. We have some bamboo shoots, some more congee,、oh. loving,、um, a boiled egg, cutlery, a banana, some milk, and then we have two bao and some bacon. In the afternoon, we went to the mall across the street from the hotel to get some lunch. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, that aubergine looks bang. They've got different chopsticks with different sizes. Potatoes. Wow. The next day, I met some friends for lunch. Be more expensive.、Mm. It'd have been like eight quid for one dish. So, how much was all of this? Five. Five. Yeah. 
Fiber. <laughs> Fiber. Bargain. <laughs> The Huangpu River in Shanghai was only a half hour walk from the hotel, so we decided to take an evening stroll. So we just walked down to the waterfront. with my friends. It's so pretty. And we came for sunset, but you can't see it because it's all behind the clouds. You can see the lights coming on gradually, but we didn't see the sunset and it's just starting to rain. The next day was apartment hunting day for me and Mew. We got a taxi over to Shuhui district to begin the search. So we are just going to look at apartments. <laughs> we finally signed an apartment. Every time we came into this mall, we saw people with bubble waffles and they looked so good. So we went down into the basement, we found the place and we ordered some in very, very broken Chinese. <laughs> found a chain noodle restaurant for dinner where they had the biggest bowls of noodles I think I've ever seen. <laughs> that was massive. The next day the weather was beautiful so Dan and I took a walk in the opposite direction to explore. <laughs> we walked around this cute little park a couple of times before heading back to the hotel as we had training to do in the afternoon. One thing you see a lot in China is middle-aged women dancing. We took a stroll along the river again and walked back to the hotel a different way, went to the local mall and had Korean barbecue. Korean barbecue is one of my favourite foods of all time. If you haven't had it, you've got to go. During this plus seven week, I still had two COVID tests to do and monitor my temperature twice every day. It was a good first week of semi-freedom in China. Join us next episode for a tour of our apartment.